Well, both of her children here would have celebrated birthdays later this month, but they suffered fatal gunshot wounds of the head, forcing a mother to bury her daughter and son just months apart. Tamika Holmes tells me she's devastated over the gun violence that continues to rip apart families in Milwaukee. In the last five months, she's lost her daughter and son to shootings. It's just deeper than me. It's really it's all about the violence, guns, like where are they coming from and who is allowing it and why is it here? Tamika says her 20 year old daughter was the first woman killed in Milwaukee this year at a downtown Days Inn hotel in January. Then her 19 year old son was shot and killed last month near 62nd and Villard. I'm numb. Right now I am. I'm numb. I'm just doing. I'm just doing. I'm just existing and doing. Tamika says her daughter, Jahara Kennedy, was an ambitious young woman. She graduated high school. She had a child. She worked three jobs and she was really trying to excel. She wanted to be something. Tamika admits her son, Rocky Washington, often hung around with the wrong crowd, getting into trouble, but was attempting to get it together and had just graduated high school. Got accepted to Britain in Texas, a college, a community college in Texas, and he scored the highest SATs at Banner Prep here in Milwaukee. Tamika doesn't have an answer to stopping the violence in this city, but she hopes no other mother has to go through her pain. I feel bad for all the mothers, even the mother that just lost her 14 year old. Like, it's sad. We can't even go and enjoy the, our holidays. Now, police say four people were arrested and charged in Jahara's death. Investigators continue to look for suspects in Tamika's son's homicide. In the newsroom, Christina Palladino, WISN 12 News.